This is Dr. Alemi with a brief lecture on how to measure severity of illness from claims data. The procedures described here are subject to a patent application filed by George Mason University. Commercial use requires licensing. Of course, scientists, students, government employees can use these procedures free of charge if they are not selling a product or a service related to these procedures. The first step is to open a database. Here we are opening a database that we have called KIDS. This is being done in Access 2007. The data files we want from the HCOP data files of uh, Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality has many cases, more than 3 million cases. So the best thing is to link to it you do so by going to external data, going to text file, and uh, we have the data uh, organized here, and we want a file that's called KID 2006 core. And we don't want to import the data, we want to just link to it. We have delimited the data, so, and the first row contains field names, and the rest of the information is correct. Let's store it for brevity in a table called core. It is finished linking, so let's take a look. We have the table called core, but there is no data inside this table. The information is being pulled from the text file on our on our computer. The next step is to select the data we want from here. Uh, to do so, we need to run a query. And the query we want to run uh, under query design. So we want the table core. We want to close that and let's move this uh, up here so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing, be, of course, we want the hospital ID and we want the record number. Let's include the age and uh, whether the patient died and the length of stay, which should be right here. And besides that, we also need the diagnosis codes. And I'm including these by clicking twice on them. Just showing you that this information is being added here. Diagnosis 4 has been added. So I have to go to diagnosis 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now we want to set this up so that the query type is a make table query and we want to call that uh, my data and we want to put it in the current database now we want to select uh, all the diagnose all the cases in which the first diagnosis code uh, has the is like V three zero zero and uh, three three zero zero just like that and a star so that it could have other codes after three thousand this is a I think a live bird uh, admission let's see how many cases we can pick up for with this uh, now we are ready to save And uh, yes, we want to save. And let's call this uh, make 
my data so we have this here so we should run this by clicking twice on it gives us a warning that uh, we are appending uh, we are making a new table and we we're going to say yes we want that this would take about uh, two or three minutes so even though in in this video it goes very quickly it really d does take time and you need to be patient as you can see from this uh, information there is about uh, 600,000 uh, records to be uh, made into a new table so we approve that so we have created my data table we are not finished because the data that we had created uh, oh, we don't want to run this uh, we want open it in design view the data we had created was based on the selection of the cases from diagnosis 1 but now we have to select for other diagnosis as well so I'm gonna cut this from here and put it here so that uh, we can um, select now the cases with V3000 in diagnosis 2 Uh, we also want to make sure that now the instead of uh, uh, making a table we want to actually append the query we will append it right into my data so those cases that are from the diagnosis second which are V3000 will be added at the bottom so let's try this and uh, we now close uh, save this and uh, we run it it says now that it will modify data in your table there is a couple minutes of wait time here again it has identified 124 new cases that we can add uh, you're about to append this to our my data table and we want that we repeat these steps for all of the diagnosis from 3 through 15 so that we pick up all the cases necessary we pick up 26 more cases from diagnosis 3 we pick up about 10 cases from diagnosis 4 we pick up about 14 cases from diagnosis 5 in the diagnosis 6 we picked up 3 cases in diagnosis 7 we pick up 7 and so on for the remaining I stopped at uh, number 10 we weren't picking up much after that so uh, now we are ready to do our analysis on my data table take a look at the data inside here just to get a sense of the data and you can see that there is lots of data uh, and here we see that diagnosis 1 is always V3000 but their patient has other diagnoses as well there is a total of 594,000 cases we're now ready to do our analysis uh, the analysis of the data is shown in a separate video uh, and this is the end of the part one of the video where we 
read the data into my data file. 